Okay, uh, I'm building a detached garage next to our family cabin up in the mountains. And <clears throat> rather than going through the hassle of a building permit and inspectors for to run power to this garage, I thought, well, let's just do a battery solar panel inverter system. Um, but uh, one side of the garage is going to be for storage for the boat. And then the other side, I was going to frame it in and sheetrock it and make it living space. And then um, in talking with my wife, we thought, well, if we're going to do living space, let's make it comfortable. Let's, you know, have enough power in there for a fridge and coffee maker and ice maker and microwave if we need it. Lights, of course. Um, which means that the batteries aren't going to last forever. So I've got to have a backup generator um, tied into the system somehow. And um, I've, I've read up on transfer switches. And that's all well and good. Transfer switch recognizes when there's no power coming into it. So it will switch over from uh, inverter power to city power or inverter power to generator power in this case. But the problem with that is if you've worked with inverters much, you know that um, if the battery discharge is so low, uh, the inverter has a low voltage uh, indicator uh, monitor and it will just shut off. And that's great because the switch panel knows that, or the transfer switch knows that there's no power coming in, so it turns the generator on and you've got generator power. But um, if I want to reset the inverter, I have to go flip it off and then turn it back on again. And that requires human intervention, and I was trying to avoid that. So I went all over the internet to try and find something that would uh, measure the voltage coming out of the battery so that it would uh, switch the power from battery power to generator power before it got so low that the inverter would completely shut down. And I looked all over, couldn't find it. So finally I cobbled together this Frankenstein uh, system that does what I want it to do. Starts out on inverter power, battery power, and then when the voltage gets uh, to a certain level, the this uh, transfer switch says, okay, we, we, we're getting to a certain level, it's too low, we need to switch over to generator power. And then when the generator is running, I've also got a battery charger plugged into the generator. And while the generator is running, the uh, battery charger is charging the batteries again. And this transfer switch recognizes when uh, the battery voltage gets up to a certain programmable level. Then the transfer switch says, okay, we don't need the uh, generator anymore. Let's switch back to inverter power. So it goes back and forth without ever having to touch anything. The only time that you'd, you know, you'd have to get involved is if the generator runs out of gas and then you can, you know, have to go and put gas in it. All right, so that's the concept of what I wanted to do and what I've accomplished. I'm now going to show you the various pieces that go in this puzzle. Okay, so <clears throat> here's my Frankenstein's monster, um, all ready to go. Um, let me kind of describe what the various pieces are. Um, you have to use your imagination, imagination just a little bit. You know, imagine that there are solar panels on the roof. Solar panels are going through a charge controller. Charge controller goes to the battery, and you're charging a bank of batteries. So here's my battery. Then the battery's going through an inverter, maybe a five or 10,000 watt inverter, to run power to your house. Well, here's my little 300 watt inverter, just to see if I can make it work. And then the inverter is connected to your circuit panel, which, which mine is now here. <clears throat> but it's also connected to <clears throat> this automatic transfer switch. This is programmable. This is the one that detects highs and lows. When <clears throat> the uh, voltage coming from the battery, you can see the battery here. It's going down to this little housing here. The positive and negative terminals are, or lines are going in there. You can also see where the inverter is coming in on these two lines there where it says inverter. And then you can see where there's two lines coming out. 
and the output line is going over to this guy. This is a Westinghouse Smart Portable Automatic Transfer Switch that detects when power is interrupted. And when it gets interrupted, it talks to this generator. I bought a Westinghouse WGen 9500 generator. And if you're going to use a generator, you got to make sure that <clears throat> it has the ability to connect with this Westinghouse uh, transfer switch. <clears throat> and then the generator <clears throat> also is, you can see this runs over to the circuit breaker box again. So when the generator is running, it's the one providing power to the tran or the uh, circuit breaker box. But the inverter stays on the whole time. So the inverter is also providing power to the circuit breaker box. It's just that the, the generator is supplementing that same power. So <clears throat> Also, when the generator's running, you're going to want to have a uh, battery charger plugged into the generator. And you want to have a battery charger that doesn't need to be turned on. It just gets activated as soon as you plug it in. Some battery chargers have to push a button, and we don't want that. So those are the various pieces that make up this, this puzzle. So I'm going to turn this on, and what you're going to see... I'll turn this guy on first. So what you can see is that it's recognizing 12.6 volts coming from the battery inverter system. And you can see the arrow flashing that says it's coming from the battery and the inverter. Now, in a minute, this thing is going to drop down and, uh, and go beyond the low threshold. And when it does, then uh, I'm going to turn the, the inverter on too. So the inverter's turned on. And you'll notice that my little fluorescent light just, just turned on as well. All right, so if you heard that click, now this thing is saying, okay, we've dropped below the threshold. We now need to talk to this guy here and say, you need to turn the generator on. So in a minute, you'll hear the generator. So you saw that arrow going back and forth. When it reaches a too low a level, it says we need generator power. When it gets up to a certain level, now you just saw it switch again. Right now I've got my parameters set really tight. But you get the idea of how this thing now is going to bounce back and forth between battery power and generator power. So hopefully this has been educational for you. Um, these are all the various parts. I bought them all on uh, on e or excuse me on uh, on Amazon. Um, so anyway, best of luck to you. All right, so you can see how this thing works. It's switching back and forth between battery and inverter power and generator power, and you don't have to touch it. You don't have to do anything. Uh, with my programmable transfer switch, I have the parameters set pretty narrow, just so I can experiment with it and figure it out. Um, when you set yours up, you're going to set the parameters much higher and much lower um, so that it's not switching back and forth all the time. Um, so I've, I've uh, got links to all of the various pieces in the description. So if you're interested in building something like this or have ever thought about it, just click on one of those links and it will take you to, over to those, those uh, products and, uh, and then you can buy them and away you go. So I hope this has been educational for you. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.